Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel Tech Electric. Myself Piyush and today's topic of our video is Significance of Back EMF in DC Motor. So let's get started right away. Before I start explaining the concept of Back EMF, we will take a brief idea about some laws which play key role in Back EMF. First is Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction. Whenever a conductor is placed in a magnetic field, cuts the magnetic field or is cut by the magnetic field and EMF is induced in it. It is dynamically induced EMF. As you can see in the animation, the conductor AB is cutting the magnetic field set up by this south and north pole permanent magnets. Therefore, an EMF is getting induced in the conductor which allows a current flow through it which can be detected by the galvanometer. Second law is Lenz law. Lenz law states that electromagnetically induced current always flow in such a direction that the action of magnetic field set up by it tends to oppose the very cause which produces it. So, to explain Lenz law, I have added a video which will give you a brief idea about Lenz law. As you can see, the changing magnetic field induces an EMF which allows a current flow through the coil. The current itself produces a magnetic field which is opposing the very cause which produced it. This itself explains the Lenz law. Significance of back EMF Before I start explaining this, you should be aware with how DC motor actually rotate. So please watch the video of its working. I have given the link in description. When the motor armature rotates, armature conductor also rotates with it and cut the magnetic field set up by the field winding. So according to Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction, an EMF is induced in it, whose direction can be found out by Fleming's right hand rule, which is in opposition to the supply voltage. This happens due to the Lenz law. As I explained earlier, Electromagnetically induced current always flows in such a direction that it tends to oppose very cause which produces it. In this case, the cause is the supply voltage. The equivalent circuit of motor is shown in the figure. As you can see in the figure, the back EMF EB is like a battery put across the supply mains voltage V. So V has to drive I against the opposition of EB. As you can see in the equation, I is equal to net voltage upon resistance where net voltage is equal to V minus EB and RA is the armature resistance. In this equation EB equals to I ZN into P upon A where EB is the back EMF, I is the magnetic flux, Z is number of conductors, N is speed in RPS, P is number of poles and A is number of parallel part. As you can see in this equation, EB is directly proportional to N. So when speed of motor is more, EB is large and therefore I is small because the net voltage reduces. But when speed of motor is less, therefore EB is less than I is more. Hence, motor develops more torque. So we can conclude that EB acts like a governor. That's it for today's session. I hope this session helped you to understand the concept of back EMF. If you liked the video, hit the like button and share the videos. Do subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon for notifications of more such videos. Thank you.